Hey guys, this is day 19. Oops, 19? <laughs> day 19. So uh, we are going to continue our 30 minutes exercise. So this morning I tried to get up early, but unfortunately I slept a bit still late yesterday. And I, I don't know, I think these few days of exercise and something, I couldn't get up that early as before. So I am still keep trying, but anyway tomorrow I might be going somewhere, so let's see how. So anyway, without further ado, let's start the exercise. So I made another playlist. Actually, I'm going to find another playlist it's called 140 BPM in Spotify. So 140 BPM, so go and check it out. And uh, I was, so actually, I didn't make this playlist. Someone by Jamie Lee Lulo. I guess someone who like Lulomon or something, I don't know. Uh, made this. Uh, list of workout songs, 140 BPM, so let's get to it. It most likely doesn't have my favorite, you know, the kind of uh, game a bit music, so it's all workout songs. So let's go for it. Now it's about 11.17, so about 11.45 plus 3, 11.48. Okay, we'll start at 11.48. Yep. So, so far, okay, so far. How many calories? Oh, 3,773 has been burned in the past uh, 16 days. So we are more than halfway through a month. And yeah, yeah yesterday, like I said, I do feel a change in my body. Oh, yes. So I do feel a change in my body. It felt lighter somewhat. Uh, it could be, of course, mental, but you know, body wise, I don't get so hungry crazily nowadays. Yes, I do get the hunger pangs in the morning, but it, it, it gets past it quite fast. So, and at night, yeah, before I sleep, there is a bit of hunger, but I could just sleep it off. So, <clears throat> yeah, so every day, just one, uh, one meal a day, it actually still works for me. And although this morning, because I don't know, I'm not sure if I slept properly, because I had a strange dream. I'm not sure to say nightmare or dream, because uh, I was playing, okay, I was playing forest sounds, kind of nature sound before I sleep. So when I wake up, it felt like I was in a forest. So I think my mind is playing tricks on me. I was like having dream about insects, in particular praying mantis. I have this recurring dream sometimes of praying mantis, you know, and not that I hate or scared of insects, but somehow creepy crawly sometimes that does get under my skin. So. It does eat me a bit, especially cockroaches. Uh, but insects are fantastic, seriously. I think insects are fantastic creatures of this earth. So, I don't know. I guess my, my sleep was not as full or as deep. But I remember, it's a strange dream. I can't remember why, but it just involved the insects. And so, this morning, waking up, I tried to uh, wash out, wanted to exercise, but I just feel pretty, pretty lethargic. And so I failed this morning, unfortunately I failed. And um, uh, I feel quite tired in the morning actually. I don't know why. Like I'll keep yawning. Yeah, maybe the sleep wasn't good. Maybe the sleep wasn't good. Like I said, maybe of the dream or nightmare. <laughs> but some days I'll be like, oh, you know in the past when I was working, I would wake up, I would sleep. And I would sleep only four or five hours and that's fine. And I mean fine in the sense like I will be able to wake up like 5, 6 a.m. or not be able to sleep. And I'll be doing my computer stuff, uh, working maybe, or researching, stuff like that. Replying emails. Yeah, I know that's bad. But that's how my body reacted at that time. So now that I have my own time, I'm still I, I don't use the word struggle, but I still find that I need more structure in my life how I uh, set out the time for work, for relax, to, like I said, a lot of uh, habits apparently of successful people includes reading books, meditation, you know, doesn't mean we all have to do that, but I, I'm not at that stage, not yet at least. So I hope once I sort out my thing, my business get going and stuff, I could, you know, have a clear mind and I get more structure in my life, getting even more better habits and 
you know, sleep early, well rested, wake up early in the morning, able to do work, and yeah. So I think that's the kind of uh, uh, position I should be in. So, got to try. Ooh, this, this album is called Badass. Badass, Badass Workout. Ooh, so far, 18, 17, calmness per hour. Really good exercise. Yep. I think I can talk over the music at times. I think these music are okay because they do not claim copyright as in to strike down the audio. Um, but some other song that has, I think on average they record like 15 20 seconds of it. They think you are playing directly and it infringes copyright. So sometimes you have to talk over it so they don't, the, the algorithms. I think the algorithm will detect that oh it's copyright because it's exactly the same as the original. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. Yeah, I feel the heat. Hold on, I think I need to go down the air conditioning. Oh yeah, it's quite high. Oh, that's quite warm man. <laughs> Because this few days temperature is still quite high, like 31 degrees outside temperature, so my aircon is like working doubly hard to keep things cool. Yeah. Nice impact. Okay, I'm reaching 18 to 19 kilometers per hour. Kitchen's being used, so I now have to cook around four, about four plus. I ate uh, what? Oh, vermicelli again. It's curry noodles, vermicelli, uh, mushroom stock, veggies. Again, my grilled chicken, cutlet, and grilled seaweed chicken. And what else? Potatoes. Again, potatoes, whole foods, which is good. Trying to avoid any gluten or super starchy stuff. I mean, potato starchy, but it's good starch apparently. It's better for the body. I was reading out on autophagia, which is like self eat by self. So your body will eat your own cells when it's in hunger state. So now I'm in hunger state, right, for over 14 hours. And so. It forces the body to actually start eating the dead cells in, in thinner, in thinner, in thinner, interior, in, in the inner space inside your body. So what happened to all your cells and blood cells or whatever? They, they'll start eating the dead ones. And so, you know, it burns and eats away all your fat cells and stuff. So that's a good thing. You want to be in that state. So, you know, hence week to week. I, I can see a slow but steady, consistent progress of my weight going down. 
hopefully it will ultimately be replaced with more muscle mass and that's that's better for the body also and also for my back problem you need the muscle to support the spine yeah Down, damn the music. The transition between music is slow. <laughs> so my cycling is so went down to like 14 to 16 kilometers per hour. Okay now 14 to 17, 18. That's my speed I should maintain. up somehow. Oh, there you go. Woo. Let's go, let's go. Spin. Good, good high tempo. Oops. I hit, <laughs> I hit the handle on the side yeah Woo. oh I feel the burn yes We're somewhat halfway through happen again now is it like sudden loss of blood flow hmm I hope I'm not boring you but that's if you are even watching this till this time I'm just letting you play so yeah come to me but if you're doing other stuff and you're letting this video play, I mean, well, sure, just treat it like I'm accompanying you in whatever you're doing. Hopefully it's exercising or doing some activity that's positive. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Alright, alright. Hitting a strike. Getting faster. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah. I don't know, I guess today generally I'm a bit more tired. I don't know why. Is my body just breaking down? Yeah. So this morning. For the afternoon, okay, I was quite relaxed, clearing all my emails, thousands of them. And... Yeah... I know I slightly procrastinate with my, some, um, some part of my other business. So got to catch up to it. There's a few things that I'm going through, so yeah. It takes time, but... Yeah. Time is not always on my side, you know, every day 
I'm not earning, it's every day I'm leading my savings. So, it's a worry. It's almost, to an extent, paralyzing. You're saying you may get analysis paralysis if you the more you think rather than do it and solve the problem as you go along. Again, another successful habit of successful people, of, you know, millionaires, they just go and do it, not hesitate. But I, I believe with time, you know, the way you make decision and everything else gets more and more defined and more strategic. So you're not making blind choices. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes I do have customer in my carousel as well. I'm selling, selling stuff, tech stuff, getting rid of my old stuff as well. So, yeah, I've got tons of data. Yeah, I know, I'm still holding data. So, I'm pushing them to the cloud. My cloud is unlimited, so I know <laughs> it becomes another level of holding, unlimited holding. But I know most of them are actually photos and videos. So, you know, should one day they are gone. Well, so be it. The good ones I did keep, I did post, I did save it up. Okay, about posting, oh dear. Everything has started because I go up less already. So I don't take as much street photography. And so that part of it kind of suffered. I'm not doing so much street photography with my phone. And I can dig still deeper into my, my large repository of old photos that I've taken that I have not processed them yet so yeah maybe it's a good time now to do that talking about photos at least my physical photo I finished scanning them hopefully do scan your physical photo right have a digital copy at least because nowadays people don't just carry albums with them to share at least if it's in your phone or you have a digital copy it's easier to share it among your friends and family and to remind you, you know, you can just scroll and search. Yeah, you go to index them or put them into folders and you can search them, you know. So as you get older, you have memories that you can refer and, you know, just have fun. Yeah, remembering when you were younger or what were you doing a year ago, 10 years ago, how far you've come. I'm sure everyone progress, okay. I believe everyone will progress and improve, okay. I mean, even if you say you're not as fast, as strong, as youthful as before, obviously, you know, as one age, there's always certain wisdom that's accumulated. So you're never, by right, you're never more stupid than you were younger. Unless it's a mental issue or problem, then, you know, that's, that's another whole issue altogether. Down my chest, down my neck. Good sign, good sign. And this tempo, 140 beat. Looks <laughs> like I'm cycling only at 17 to 18. I don't get the crazy 20 or 20 plus kilometers per hour. Anyway, I don't know. Today, like I said, feel a bit more tired than before. Uh, yeah, I guess your body condition will go up and down, right? I'm not an athlete, I'm not fit, so don't expect me to work in peak condition every day. You know, that, that would be something what athlete would say. But even athletes will have rest days, right? They train very hard whole day, and then they rest, like, and do other stuff, and then they train again. Alright, okay, past the halfway mark, at least about. And 15 more minutes. Alright, let's go. Stretch that arm. Move those legs. Let's see what else I can say. When I was young, I do have other interesting hobbies. I craft. Origami is interesting. I know it's not like hunting, fishing, you know, some outdoor sports. Yeah, I'm not an outdoors person, that's for sure. But I do like nature. It's a chance to walk with friends, 
in nature walk oh, I love that the, or down the beach you know ocean out in the sea that's fantastic anyway so I was saying when I was young I like origami and my whole bookshelf is filled with origami books and that reminds me one day yet another thing I need to clear hoping to digitize them because to me it's just a collection but it's not I feel it's not a very valuable one maybe except for a few books which is more valuable other than that it's just taking out space and dust lots of dust unfortunately and so if I can scan all of them in at least have digital copy I know it's almost like digital holding as well but you know you could carry a physical copy give it away sell it away and because you just need the diagram except for one or two or a few collection which is really art books because you want the texture and the feel of the pages other than that origami books are it's all about the diagrams and yeah one of my favorite origami artists is robert lang robert lang is a physicist literally a, a physicist in america he used mathematics to do very complex interesting origami using just one piece of paper no cuts so you can using his mathematics and algorithm people are actually learning max really high level max through origami and his level of origami has helped even nasa to launch like satellites uh, into outer space how they fold it you know because you need it to be in a small space and then how it unfolds so he calculate like the best way to fold it stuff like that it's amazing stuff so anyway i remember once when i was younger I use dollar notes because he has like uh, patterns to fold orchids. So I folded his orchid using my dollar, Singapore dollar. And I can't remember, is it in a Facebook or forum? I can't oh, I remember I emailed him and I said oh I was your fan and this is what I, I folded. And he does reply. So that's very nice of him. I'm pretty sure there's thousands of fans around the world for him. The fact that he actually replied, it shows that this guy really has a heart and it matters to him, right? Every one or every fan that he that emails him, especially one that actually folded his diagram using dollar bill note. <laughs> so it's like literally money, money plant, get it? I know it's lame, but I made my money plant, so to speak. But too bad money don't grow on tree. If only, right? Then everyone will be filthy rich. Then again, if that happens, money is of no value but it's too easily attained like a lot of things in life the easier that you attain it the less value it has same as in business right you're trying to find ways to add value to make value to make things that have value so it's you know people want to attain it and pay good money for it service as well you know you add good service customer service that's adding value so same thing you can add value to yourself you know Exercising, adding value to your health, reading, attaining more knowledge, that's value to your brain. Yeah. So there's always value everywhere, just how you, you know, see it and how you uh, <coughs> achieve it. Yeah. I love art and craft, even like pop up cards. I made pop up cards, I did Chinese knots, other than origami. Drawing, obviously. Uh, drawing, painting. Uh, also, of art and craft, which I enjoy. It's, it's, my, it's my hobby once young, yeah. So, yeah, I can imagine, right? Big guy, dainty fingers. <laughs> so, um, even cross stitching. There was one I even tried croquet, but uh, just not my thing. Like, it, it's kind of tough, or um, just not interesting to me. Uh, Chinese knots, because it's intricate and it's quite beautiful. Huh? The result is quite beautiful. Origami because it's technical, but at the same time it's mathematical in the sense. And it's just amazing, right? A flat piece of paper, how you can fold it thousands of ways and yet get different shape. And it challenges your imagination. So you know what how I started? Oh, it was pretty interesting. My teacher was Skater Garden given gave us a piece of paper and tell us to oh just fold anything you like. So I folded something like a plane, like a plane, <laughs> and it could transform into like, like a robot. So that was where my imagination sparked, you know? And it's like, oh god, this paper is amazing. I could fold and transform it. 
that was the days when there's transformer but i haven't bought my toy so the piece of paper is like a transformer toy and i really liked it so i passed on my mom to buy an origami book and back then origami books are not cheap um that's one that's 60 dollars i mean reality it seems cheap now but it's 60 dollars that's like when i was primary one i think primary one so that's like 1991 I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure if you calculate that book will have cost a hundred plus dollars back then or a few hundred maybe just very pricey book for a primary school kid right so but inside has so much diagram and I think I did for almost every other thing inside and one of the toughest diagrams uh, origami pattern to fold is uh, I think it was a lobster so but I managed to do it for the whole lobster from a piece of paper that's awesome yeah and then um, after that you know i start collecting and that's where my collection started you know the funny thing is throughout my life when i was collecting the books it was mainly from the western world maybe because it's english but it didn't occur to me like hey origami is from japan should i go to japan or buy from japanese store you know because that's where it originated it should have like cool diagrams so it's only when I was like maybe 10 20 years down the road, maybe also partly when I start earning, or I would say, you know, when there's Kino Kunia, I went to Kino Kunia and I realized, oh yeah, why didn't I ever go to the Japanese section of Kino Kunia and look for the origami? So that was, and it's all Japanese words, but again, pattern pattern, you know, the diagram diagram, you can actually follow it. But slightly disappointed. I mean, they have a lot, but at the, the level that I want, you have more in the international books, the English ones, where it's more technical. But then after that, then I realized, oh god, I didn't search even deeper. Because obviously there is Origami Club, and they do have, and they have monthly or weekly publication. And when I found it like online, it's like, oh my god, it is really deep. I mean, it's in Japanese, but you can see the intricacy that they made. Okay, so like, it is definitely the origin of origami. Because the new um, generation of origami artists do not fold simple diagrams anymore. They fold so intricate. You can get samurai and like a scene where there's two people fighting or something all from one paper. I mean, ridiculous, right? And then they also explore other methods of origami like wet folding which is interesting very interesting i would say because it makes origami like a sculpture so it's not just fold you literally crimp it you really mold it so it felt like some kind of sculpture so it became more and more realistic and the kind of paper they use they, the more accomplished ones would actually make their own paper their own washi paper and stuff so they can control the thickness the color the texture and how well it holds holds the fold stuff like that and you can get special special uh, paper from it i mean uh, a few years ago when i went to japan and my friend had, had a car drove me around oh my god that's my first thought i said go to tokyo's origami club the, there's an origami association so i went there uh it was at night i thought it's almost closing so like no one around they do hold classes there but uh, the master that's holding it, it wasn't there. If only it was there, but you know. And I saw, wow, also origami there. It's a mini museum, so called, but it's mini, not like a huge one. I'm pretty sure there's origami museum somewhere. So someday, I guess, go and visit. And so, uh, tons of books. But again, they're mostly focusing for kids. So I don't get very high end ones there, but they do have lots of paper, uh, special ones. You know, and special board to hang and display yeah, the origami I still have them but I bought like tons of books <laughs> almost swipe out all the books and all the origami paper that I could find there but yeah, not wasted brought it back it almost became uh, just a collection but without using them so that might be a retirement thing I might, I might do go into origami wait Maybe I should create an origami application. I'm sure there is. I've seen some before. But... Uh, I don't know. I didn't need to search again. I guess it'll make an interesting... You know, sometime back, I saw... 
paper doing 3D. So they were a program specialized in folding paper. So imagine you could like fold it virtually. Oh. Maybe oh maybe that's how they also create some of the diagrams. I mean like visualize the 3D models. Lady Gaga song. Love it, love it. Okay, four more minutes. I think it should be the end of this song. Plus one more. And then we are done for 30 minutes. Yeah. Applause. Okay, this song, applause. I was in that phase of arts. Uh, her art history is a, a can't, be, can't be denied. Saw her movie recently, Star is Born. Uh, actually, it was last year's movie, I think. Yeah. That's amazing. She acted. Yeah, she's like the main actor. I didn't mention her in her previous day. <sighs> Kilometers. So that's like, like I said, whole width of Singapore, east to west and back, plus 25 kilometers will be north to south. Yeah, that's how small Singapore is. So if I continue some more, I think I can say, wow, I cycled like the whole circumference of Singapore, ish. <laughs> A few hundred kilometers. Yeah. I actually had that thought before. You know, like, let's why not do a huge, long panorama of the whole border of Singapore. But then, it's very hard because you're going to travel to places where you can't even reach because it's blocked. So you can't get a real clear coast, you know. Maybe drone could. So, but coastal parts in Singapore, if I'm not wrong, are red zones. Like, you're not supposed to fly drones because it's airplanes are taking off and those zones are near residential I think or certain residential and industry so they would not allow you to fly unfortunately, unfortunately drone drone zones in Singapore is limited and you can't fly more than I think 200 correct me if I'm wrong like a near not more than 200 meters or something not 200 meters 200 kilometers <laughs> is that correct I think I got it wrong 200 seems very far but anyway, certain amount. So only overseas you can fly. Because Singapore is small, planes are flying everywhere uh, near. So they do not allow you to fly too high. Once you crash in a zone, you are literally causing lives at risk. I know that in sensitive zones, Singapore actually deploys some kind of uh, uh, blockage, I think. They block the signal so you can't actually fly through them. Yeah, your drone will just land itself. I think that happened to my friend. Where she tried that. Oh, okay. We're done. Oh. 30 minutes. Yes. Okay, that's it for tonight. Day 19. See you tomorrow in day 20. And have a good rest. I'm pretty tired. I don't know why today, yeah. Just not my best, my energy is low. Oops, sorry. Good night and be determined. Stay fit. Bye.